Hello everyone, Ice Cool Tech here. Now today we're gonna to be taking a look at a possible cause for the battery drain and overheating issues on the iPhone 7, as well as a possible fix for jailbroken users. Now before we get into the video, as always, if you do happen to be new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on to stay up to date with all the latest news, announcements, and of course updates from Apple, as well as reviews, tutorials, and more from Ice Cool Tech. Now I also wanna say I'm sorry for any background noise, there's some work going on around me, so we wanna keep this video pretty short, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the fix first of all now stay tuned for after the fix and i will explain my pretty wild theory so again we're just going to jump right into the fix so if you are jailbroken we're going to jump right into cydia now you're going to search for power cuff now this is a fairly new tweak and it is free so what you can see in the description here it says exposes access to hidden power throttling modes for better battery life now once you have that tweak installed we're going to go ahead and open up settings and we're gonna scroll down till you see power cuff. We're gonna tap power cuff. And you can see here we have two options, only in low power mode, which is pretty self-explanatory and throttling. Now I did already set mine to light and I found that light is the perfect balance between performance, battery life, and overheating. This is the specific mode that had the biggest reduction in overheating at the same time as a little bit better battery life and the perfect balance between those two in performance. Now, depending on how bad your overheating is, you might want to select moderate heavy. I will warn you, I tried this tweak out um, on my iPhone 11. It did make it slower than an iPhone 4S and iOS 9. So if you if it's that bad, heavy and moderate are definitely two options you have, but I'm just gonna leave mine at light. You can experience, uh, experiment this yourself and see which one best suits you. So that is my temporary fix for jailbroken users. It's very, very simple, very easy. Again, I am actively investigating a non-jailbroken fix for overheating and drainage issues. For now, that's all I have, but I will update you guys as soon as I have one for non-jailbroken users. All right, so my theory is that Apple is using what I like to call reversed planned obsolescence or just overclocking, and they're overclocking the processors so your phone has overheating and drain issues. Now, when they release an iPhone, the processor is clocked at a certain speed, so it doesn't have these issues. But with iOS 12 and iOS 13, I think what they're doing is they're purposely speeding the phones up so they have these issues so you go out and buy the latest iPhones. Now, basically what the point of this is, they're making the company look good by focusing on these older devices and speeding them up on the latest iOS versions with the intent of getting you to upgrade. And this is how they're doing it. Over they're overclocking them so they're overheating and having these drainage issues. All right, everyone, that's my theory on what's causing these iPhone 7 overheating and drain issues, as well as a temporary fix for jailbroken users. Again, I am actively investigating a non-jailbroken fix as well and will update you all as soon as I have one. Now, as always, if you do need anything clarified or have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. All right, everyone, that's all I have for this video. If you did enjoy the video or found it helpful in any way, show me by leaving a like. And if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really does mean a lot. It's very appreciated. Also, don't forget to check out the iSchool Tech official Discord link in the description down below, as always. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter using the link in the description. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.